That's a beautiful flower. Hi, I'm Stan Lyle from MasterMath.info, and I've got some beautiful ideas on how to make math easier for you. Today, we're going to be talking about the meaning of a vertical line in algebra. Well, what is the meaning of a vertical line? Well, I've got a vertical line graphed here, and you can see a couple of interesting things. Obviously, that vertical line runs up and down. It runs vertically. And this is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. But for any y value, I get the same x value. I get 8. If I had a y of 7, I'd go across. Oops, it's 8. If I had a y of 4, I'd go across. Oops, it's 8. It's always 8. There is no relationship between y and x. x is independent of y. And if I were to write an equation for a vertical line, it wouldn't include a y. It would be something like x equals k, or a constant. In this case, x equals 8. And x could equal any number. Here's a graph of x equals 3, and it's just a vertical line that runs through the 3 uh, on the x-axis. And this is x equals minus 4. It's just a vertical line that crosses the y-axis at x equals minus 4. Now, what are the slopes of these lines? Well, if you remember, slope is a rise over the run. Well, we got a lot of rise, but we got no run at all because the, the x value is always the same. So, slope is undefined. Math is meaningless if it doesn't help you understand the real world. I hope today's lesson has helped you understand math a little bit better. This is Stan Lyle with MasterMath.info.